start out with Carolyn Peck. Hi, Renaya. Great to see you. Um, so from March until now, what have you been able to do uh, to work on your game, to also stay, you know, mentally ready and prepared in coming into your senior season? Man, this, since March has seemed like so long, I've literally been in the gym all the time. That's all we can do. Um, during the pandemic, obviously, we couldn't get in the gym immediately, but outside, just working on what I could. I've really been focusing on my ball handling and just overall strength conditioning. Um, I felt like I needed to get stronger this year, so <laughs> I think I've been working on that and doing pretty good. So, so you, you got your guns ready. I got a little bit of guns now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, in coming into practice now uh, and watching your team on the court, who besides yourself has stood out? Oh, uh, man. That's a good question. Every, everybody has, in my opinion, everybody from last year has improved. Um, and everybody who's came in this year has really brought positive energy um, to, to this team, um, really has bought into what we're trying to do. I can't pinpoint a specific person because I, I just personally think everybody has improved. Like, I'm, I'm not even sure because I'm like, I just feel like that, so. And then my last question is, uh, Coach Harper, really, uh, you know, she complimented on what a great player you are and your ability to score and shoot the ball, but she also referenced your defense. Have you made that a priority this season? Is that something that you've been working on? I'm laughing only because um, I used to hate defense. Um, <laughs> so I got to college, learned the importance of it, and really has – put in effort in that area. Like, I've really been trying. Um, I, I think defense is all about effort at the end of the day anyway. So just pushing myself every day in practice, guarding these quick guys that we practice against and stuff, I, I really think I've improved and got better. And if, uh, if I could ask one more question, uh, did you follow the WNBA this season? This is somewhere where you could see yourself next or in after this season is over. If so, what have you learned from that that you know you've got to bring and working on improving your game? Yeah, this has definitely been the most that I've watched um, the WNBA, obviously, because that's where I want to be at next year. Um, the biggest thing I think I take away from it is um, I think one of the advantages I will have is getting out in transition. I think that last year I did pretty good in that, and I, I saw, like, um, Diamond is one of my favorite players, obviously, and – when she got in transition, she scored majority of the time. I think I have advantage in that area, just having fresher legs than some of the other players that's been in the league a little bit longer than me. Um, so I think I have advantage there again. I'm transitioning, scoring easy baskets. Great, thank you. Maria and then Gustavo. Renaya, you've got a lot of post depth this season, particularly with the addition of Key and Green who I imagine you're pulling for them because if you got post depth, then you can stay at the three spot and, and not the four spot. What is key and green bringing to the team? Kelly mentioned she took four charges in one practice, which I, I I'm not sure that's ever happened, but w what about the post depth and what can you tell me about key and green as a newcomer? Yeah, Maria, she can is tough. That is probably the, Simplest way I can put it, she is tough. Um, the charges, to me, again, just amplifies how tough she is. Um, obviously, we had Lou last year to take those charges. Key and just being able to step in and kind of fill in that role, like, that that was huge for us that she was able to do that. Um, and then she, she communicates really well um, with the guards who are out there playing with her. So I, I really like playing with Kian. Gustavo and then Nicholas. Renaya, uh, you know, this offseason has been the most challenging one for you guys. And you, Ray, and Tamari are the starters, returners, and you're a senior. How important the leadership of those of more experienced players are going to affect the overall of the team? Yeah, le leadership is leadership's going to be huge for us, as it has been huge for us since I've been here. Um, I just think that this year we have more people that are willing to step into that role 
Um, but also we have more people that are willing to listen um, this year and willing to follow. So I, I think that's huge too. Um, our communication has improved um, since I've been here in my opinion. And, and I, I'm just really excited about this year and, and where we're going. And uh, of course, last season, the way it finished it, you know, you guys, you know, finished the SEC tournament, they were able to play the NCAA one. You know, that feeling of one and more, do you guys going to carry for this season? Like, you know, since the, the season, last season ended, ended abruptly? Yeah, yes. Um, for, for me, per I can only speak for myself, but for me personally, um, the way our season ended last year, it's still not sitting right with me. Um, not even because of the pandemic, but just how we performed our last game. I don't think I'll forget. So I've been using it as motivation um, this this off season, and so that I won't put us back in that same position again next year. Nicholas, and then Graham. Yeah, with the schedule not being yet out yet, I'm just curious. How does that affect a team in their preparation when they don't know exactly when they're going to be stepping on the court to play for the first time this season? Yeah, that's that's a great question. Um. It, it can be hard to stay focused if this is not what you really want to do. But since this is something that I actually want to do and I enjoy doing, um, I'm passionate about, um, I think it's important that we stay ready. I think Kelly has been keeping us with that mindset as well, not letting us get lax, not really being concerned about a specific start date, but just knowing that we're playing so that when it's time to play, we're ready and we don't have to get ready. Graham? All right, thanks for being here and doing this. Um, you were talking earlier about the WNBA is kind of that place you aspire to be. And obviously all basketball players now do have that option of an extra year, extra year of eligibility. Is a fifth basketball season anything that would be intriguing to you possibly at Tennessee? I'm sorry, Graham, can you ask the last part again? Yeah, is, 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 the, is the idea of playing a fifth season at Tennessee anything that would be intriguing to you? Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not... I'm not closed off to anything right now. I'm more so just focused on how we're going to do this season coming up. I think I have a lot of time to think about whether I want to enter my name into the draft next year or return for a fifth season. But as of today, I'm not as concerned about that as maybe other people are. I appreciate it. Thanks. Are there any other questions for Anaya? Uh, Jordan? Hey, Renaya, Kelly talked about uh, your freshmen and kind of how vocal they are and the energy they bring to the team. How have you seen that impact this team maybe differently than uh, in the preseason than a year ago? Yeah, Jordan, I, I, I love our freshmen this year. Um, I honestly wish I came in with this much confidence my freshman year because I feel like I would have been a lot further along. But the freshmen we have this year, they're – they're willing to talk, but they're also willing to learn. Um, they have great personalities, just just a great presence, good good vibes, good energy, and and I think you don't you don't run across groups like that so often. So I'm excited for our freshmen, what they're going to bring to the team. I know they're all going to contribute in some way as well. Do you see that confidence primarily in just their vocality with some of the upperclassmen, or is it also kind of displayed in the way that they, they go about their game and they perform in practice? It's, it's really both. Um, I can speak for one freshman in particular, um, Destiny, because I've been in the gym with her um, probably more than any, any of the other freshmen. And she already has a great personality, but then she just has like this confidence about her as well. So it's like, all of that tying in together. She can play. She's she's pretty good. She's actually she's actually done more than what a lot of us probably expected. And she just has great energy. Um she first thing she told me was that, you know, she didn't come here sit on the bench. <laughs> and I like that. I mean I just that's that gives me confidence. That that lets me know that I'm gonna have at least one person every day in practice that's gonna push me. So I really appreciate that about her. Renata back to Will Sorry, uh, back to the leadership topic that, that you were talking about a second ago. How do you balance being encouraging, being very positive to help your teammates out when, when maybe some adversity hits? And I know that's probably later in the year. Balance that with having that tough conversation with players or demanding that they do things to help your team as a leader on the team. How do you balance those two to make sure the team is getting better? 
Well, Vince, I think I think that's tough for any leader, um, especially with so many new players that we have coming in that we had come in this year. Um, but I think for me, the biggest thing is is those relationships, building those relationships outside of basketball. I think that's important because if if that happens, if I'm able to communicate with maybe a freshman or something just about food or what they ate for today, just let them know that I care about them in other ways than basketball, then when we get on the court, it just makes it that much easier to communicate. And I think people take things less personal that way too. Will, and then Maria. Kelly talked a lot about how positive uh, the team's depth looks this season. I guess when you're, when as a senior, when you when you look at the roster and look at the depth, I guess how excited does it make you to see that you have, you know, a full 13 player team in terms of scholarships and, and you know, the rotation that you guys will have with that? Yeah, we, we, we have 13 players, but we don't have 13 players that are just like on the roster. We have 13 players that can play basketball. We also have 13 players that I feel like will be able to contribute at some point this year. So for me, that's extremely, extremely um, motivating, um, especially somebody that's had to play extensive minutes um, in previous years, you know, just, just having somebody on the bench that can come in and give me a breather sometimes, or if I get in foul trouble, um, they're not being a drop off with the subs. I, I think that's huge too. And I think this year that's definitely gonna be on full display. Yeah. Renaya, the, the transfer portal can change a roster year to year. And last March, you guys lost a couple guards. It looked like you may be the backup point guard. So I would imagine you were thrilled about Jordan Walker coming to Tennessee. Just tell us about the newcomer, the graduate transfer, and how, how she can help the other Jordan at point guard. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Maria, that is actually exactly what I was thinking. I was like, I'm about to be PG2. I'm about to really, really have to work my ball handling, which is what I needed to do that anyways. But I was like, I'm really going to have to lock in on ball handling this offseason. But I um, talked to Jordan prior to her coming and just encouraged her. Um, and she obviously seen it fit to be here. And I'm so glad she came. She's such a tough player. She has so much poise, confidence in herself, confidence in her teammates. And she just, she just adds something at the point guard spot that I don't think we've had in a while. Um, she's, she's aggressive up there, and I, I, really, I really like playing with her. All right, any final questions for Renaya? Okay, thank you everyone for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you all.